class, your hand should be overlapping, your thumb should be side by side. This will create a smooth and flat surface on your forearms, hence the name forearm pass. The ball should have should land there, and as the ball comes in contact, you should bend your knees and come up without swinging your arms. So the height of the ball will depend on how much power you put into your knees. There should be a slight shrug in your shoulders to help hit the ball up. It is also important to make sure that you score up with your ball, meaning that your hip, shoulders, and feet should be facing the ball. For an overhead pass, first you have to make sure that your body is facing the ball, meaning that your feet, hips, shoulders should all be in line. Bend your knees slightly to prepare for the impact of the ball. As the ball is coming down, you should raise your arms above your head and create a diamond shape with both of your index fingers and thumbs, and the rest should only be touching the ball with the finger pads. This will then create a soft touch as you uh, just pop the ball up by moving your wrists upwards in a swift motion. Overhead serve should start with the position of your ball. Depending on if you are left-handed or right-handed, the opposite foot should be ahead. The ball should be held in front of you at an eye level, and then a decently powered toss should be done. After the ball is in the air, with your other arm, you should hit the hit it, making contact with the, your palm and thrusting the ball forward. To perform a spike, start with a three-step approach, taking three steps before arriving at the ball, giving you momentum. On the third step, you should jump and with your uh, arms back and getting ready to hit the ball, and your other hand should be in front of you to help stabilize. When coming in contact with the ball, your wrist should create a snapping motion, making the ball come downwards. Spiking is also used as an um, offensive strategy. It, it could uh, help uh, fake your opponent out because if one of the person jumps and does not hit the ball, but the second person could jump and that would hit the ball, confusing your opponent. When your team is receiving the ball, the second touch should always go to the setter. This is because the setter is specialized to give just the right pass for an attack, possibly leading your team for a point. When a ball is sent to the opposing team via a forearm pass, it is known as a free ball. The opposing team will back up when this is received. A free ball is often sent in a forearm pass or an overhead pass. A free ball is often easily received by the opposing team and often set up for a quick attack to be uh, sent over to the opposing team. In volleyball, communicating with teammates is very important. Lack of communication can lead to many errors on the court. Therefore, communicating with teammates is very important and just saying a single word can make as big as a difference as having a point or not. Some words said on the court to help further enhance communication skills included are saying mine to let your to let teammates know that you are taking the ball and no one interferes in your way. Also, if a free ball is coming, call free ball to let them know that they will be making an e receiving an easy return and so that they can back up and get themselves in a better position to receive the ball. Also on a serve, they can shout short or out to let his or her teammates know not to go for the ball as it is not within the court. Also, if you know the server's ability, saying short, server, or hard server could indicate which type of serve we will get. This strategy is called deep to corners on third hit. On a volleyball court, there are six players on each side and only three hits. On the third hit, the attacker on either side should hit into the corners as it is hard for the opposing team to receive the ball and also hard for them to tell whether the ball is in or out of the court, which can cause hesitation. In the volleyball system or defensive formation called six position back, there are several advantages and disadvantages. Some advantages include that cross-court attacks are covered, tips are much more easily able to be covered. However, there is a huge open area in the backcourt, which is not covered and can lead to communication areas as it's between three backcourt players. Now we are going to talk about volleyball system, a defensive tactic used to uh, encourage our team and also receive the ball better. In the volleyball system or defensive formation, six position up, there are also many advantages, however as many disadvantages. First, the advantages are that it makes it harder to drop ball and tips to center are much easier to cover. However, this is not good for cross court attacks. Tips to high and close heavily right or left are not covered. There are often three players in the front court and three players in the back court, setter in the center. Serve receptions are formations which are used to receive serves from the opposing team. There are three types of serve re receptions for different skill levels and different strategies. The first one is called line formation. This is used for older players and have three hitters at the front court along with good passers from the, that are all back court. This type of formation also covers each lane. The next one is called cup formation. This is for more advanced players and better for different types of serves. In this situation, there are four players backcourt with a setter frontcourt. 
However, this can lead to communication errors as there is open space in the backcourt. The next one is called the W formation. This formation covers more area and the communication is also much more important as the backcourt is congested. The setter is the only player that is up front court in this W formation. Tips are one of the most commonly used offensive plays in volleyball. Tips are used by approaching as you are going to attack, however, are using the tips of your fingers to strategically place the ball in an open area which is not being covered. This confuses the opposing team as they back up as they are about to receive a hit. However, a tip comes at them giving them a shorter time to react for the ball. Another form of volleyball is also known as beach volleyball. Beach volleyball tends to be played outdoors in the sun and is also far more competitive than court volleyball. For starters, you only have two players on each side and are not allowed to tip the ball. However, you may go under the opposing team's side. However, it must not alter any of the other team's decisions. Beach volleyball is also a best of three sets which is played up to 21 points as compared to court volleyball which is best of five sets played up to 25 points. Not to forget, players switch sides after seven points on beach volleyball while in court volleyball it's after each set. However, the court is smaller as it is a 16 by 8 sand court in beach volleyball as compared to the to the 18 by 9 indoor court. In the sport 9-man volleyball, which is played with 9 players on each side, the sport came all the way from China and is now played in many different countries. In 9-person volleyball, the formation is set up with 3 players in the front court and 6, play- six hitters slash passers in the back court. In this sport, there are players which stick to the position they play, which means that you do not rotate. Also, you are not allowed to jump serve. Sitting volleyball is a sport for disabled players who play with their bums on the floor, however, have mostly the same rules as court volleyball. This sport, however, is not only for disabled body men and can be played by anyone on the court. The rules are the same as court as you have 6 players on the court and is first to 25 points and win by 2s. First team to 3 sets wins at a max of 5 sets. However, your bum must not get off the ground as a point will and always will be rewarded to the other team. A sport much similar to court volleyball commonly played is called reverse sixes, which is also played in quad tournaments. The rules of this game are similar to court volleyball. However, in reverse sixes, there must always be three females present on the court playing in the front court. The girls are the only players that can hit and block. The guys must always be back court and can only attack from the back court. Also, guys are not allowed to jump serve and the and the net height is at the female, female official female level height. The history of volleyball goes way back to 1895, as William Morgan had invented the game. The first official volleyball game was played at a college called Springfield. Ever since then, the game has advanced in numerous ways.